well, it's come a long ways over the last uh, 10 years or so in development in terms of the design, but the, uh, the main feature is our glass half dome, which is modeled after a Wichita grass lodge. We wanted to honor the original indigenous peoples of this land, the Wichita and the Caddo. Uh, as you know, all the other tribes come from some other place. So uh, we are on uh, what, what is and uh, always was Caddo and Wichita land, and so this, this glass structure honors them. Um, the, uh, the design of the building, or actually the site, is two circles that intersect and that hall of the people is that intersection of those two circles. Behind me is a very large mound uh, made of 500,000 cubic yards of earth and that is to honor our great uh, civilizations that were here before us. We have some uh, public art pieces that are done by Cherokee artists including the Bill and Demos glass arch with a hand in it out in front of the museum. That's an incredible piece and that's what welcomes our visitors here to the museum. That open hand is a symbol of friendship and so uh, that's what our visitors, that's the first thing they'll see when they come up to the museum. Um, today we are celebrating the grand opening of First Americans Museum, or lovingly known as FAM. Um, today is our second day of events for our grand opening. It has been a 30-year project that is finally um, opening its doors to the community. I started here in 2018 on the curatorial team, and at that time um, we started developing our exhibitions. Um, we got a loan from the National Museum of the American Indian to bring over a hundred objects home to Oklahoma um, from Washington, D.C. Um, they were first collected here in Oklahoma in the early 1900s and so for this it's very special because they're not coming home for the very first time. Most of these objects have never been on exhibition so once they were collected they've been stored for over a hundred years and so it's really special to have them come back home, um, be in the community with our people, be able to uh, hear our people's voices and songs once again and, and just feel that connection back to home. There are 39 tribes represented in our collections um, in the two exhibitions here. We have a Tribal Nations Gallery which tells the collective history of the 39 tribes of Oklahoma. Um, and then upstairs in the mezzanine gallery where the Smithsonian loan is, we try to get at least three objects from each tribe so everyone can be represented. We want to break the mold of what a museum is and um, you know, we use our objects today and we want to reflect that through our exhibitions and so when this drum comes out, it will come out for celebrations here at FAM along with, um, we have a set of dance cans um, and we want our community members to use them. We want these items to have life and that continuation and not just be behind glass. We do have a community gallery here on site, which will change periodically. We will also be updating our exhibits periodically with new content, adding to our searchable databases. We have a veterans database that we are asking community members to uh, input and uh, provide us with images of their veterans. So there will be things that will be ongoing and changing and I believe we are hoping for a changing gallery in the future um, so that we can do temporary exhibitions while our 10 year exhibition is still up. I just hope you come visit us again and again and um, we're happy to be here and welcome everyone and open our doors to our native community and I hope everyone sees a little bit of themselves in our exhibitions.